In today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to customize a low content book using templates from BookBolt. In a previous video, we showed you how to create low content books using BookBolt to sell on Amazon KDP. Now we're going to take it a step further and show you exactly how to customize those books to help you stand out from the competition. Let's get into it. Here's an example of an interior we created. We're going to show you exactly how to do this. Okay, so here's a rundown of the pages that we're going to show you how to make. We're going to make a This Journal Belongs To page. We're going to make a copyright page. And then we're going to show you how to customize the interior of your book. So this is exactly what we're going to be creating today. And the great thing about doing this is that it'll help you stand out from the competition on Amazon KDP. So the first step is deciding exactly what type of book you want to create. And you can get a lot of ideas from BookBolt. BookBolt is a tool that you can use to create anything from journals, log books, activity books, you name it. You can create pretty much anything with BookBolt. Now, if you want to follow along with this video and do exactly what I'm doing, we have a link to BookBolt in our description. And you can use our code TwinkieHustle to get 20% off. So let's go ahead and get logged in. Okay. So now that we're logged in, this is the page that you should see. Now to check out the interiors that BookBolt has to offer, we're gonna come up to this little icon, person icon, and then we're gonna go down to BookBolt Designer. And to log in here, you just use the same credentials that you use to get into your BookBolt account. So the first thing we're gonna do is choose interior since we're only focusing on the interior of the book right now. And then we're going to keep the trim size six by nine, but you can see all the options that they have to offer. We're going to leave the page count alone. We only need one page and you'll see why in a minute, but we're just going to leave it at the default and we're also going to leave it on no bleed. And now we can click submit. The next thing we're going to do is come up here to where it says interior. And this is where you can see all of the interiors that BookBolt has to offer. And there's quite a few. And this is why we love BookBolt so much because there's so many different things you can do with it. So the first thing we want to do is choose our, our interior first. And we're going to do that before we change any of these settings up here. Today we're going to be making a journal page. So once I select journal, I can come up here and then choose the same size that I chose before, which was a six by nine. We're gonna keep it at no bleed. And then we're gonna put the page count at one because we only need one page. Once you've selected everything on this page, you can click download and it should pop up in a new tab for you. To save this, you're gonna click this little download arrow right here and you can just save it right to your computer. Once you do that, we're ready to move on to the next step, which is customizing this interior in Canva. For Canva, we use a paid account, but for everything that I'm gonna show you, a free account should be just fine. The first thing we're gonna do is click create a design, and then you're gonna come down to import file. This is where you're gonna select that file that we just imported from uh, BookBolt. Once you do that, it should open up to your projects and then you just come down to designs and click the journal page. Now you should see your journal page right here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can see clear. The cool thing about Canva is that anything that you import into it, you can pretty much customize on the page. So for example, this line right here, I can take it and move it to the other side of the page if I wanna change the orientation of the journal page. And I can do the same. I can move any of these lines down here. You just highlight them and then click them and you can delete them, move them. You can do whatever. So the first thing we're gonna do is create the This Journal Belongs To page. And we can do that by clicking this Add Page button up here. And we're gonna just move it to the top by clicking this little arrow. And now this page is above the journal page we just imported. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a text box and you can do that by coming over here and clicking text. And you can select any text that you want. I'm gonna use this one. Okay, and 
to change the sizing of this you can just use these little circles at each corner and to stretch it out you just pull right there with this little I don't know what it's called so just make it fit the page like you want and to, you can click here to move around move the text around wherever you want I want this to be pretty small next we can add the name line to do that I like to come to elements and then there's always this little line right here and you can just put it right you click it and it should show up right on the page I don't like how thick this is so I'm gonna change the line weight by coming up to this little icon up here that says weight and then I'll make sure it says one there make sure it says one and it makes it nice and thin for you and now you can just resize it to make it long enough to be able to fit a name okay once you're happy with that we can move on to the next page so the next page I'm gonna show you is the blank page and you just click add page and it should populate right below the this this journal belongs to page that we just created now you don't have to add a blank page if you don't want to but we like to add a page a blank page because we like the way it looks for our journals and the next page we're gonna create is the copyright page so again we're gonna click add page so here is our copyright page and I just copied this from one of our previous journals a copyright page is just a way to explain to people that they don't have the right to take your work even without this page your work is protected but having it is a good idea because it helps your book look more professional this is a simple copyright page that we created for our books and you can use these same words if you want now full disclaimer we are not lawyers and we are not able to give advice on copyright law so you can use this at your own discretion we place this in our KDP books but if you need a specific type of copyright for your situation you may want to do some research on your own or contact a lawyer and another thing to get this copyright symbol you can literally um, copy and paste one from Google or a hack that we learned you can type alt followed by 0169 and this icon should just pop up for you okay so the next thing we like to do is customize the orientation of the journal pages and to do that we just duplicate the journal page so now we have two of the exact same page and then we like to move this date line to the opposite side of the page and you can move it so that it stays on the same line that it's already on by hitting shift and just moving it over until this last pink line lines up with the other lines on the page and there you can see that now the date line is flipped to the other side and we like to do this to our books because we find that it's easier to write on the journals if this date line is not stuck inside the crease of the book now next comes the part where we actually customize the pages with some graphics by adding our own graphics to our books it raises the perceived value of our book and helps us stand out from the competition so the first thing you want to do is come to the elements tab and you can just search to find different elements I'm gonna choose the same one that I used for the example book that I showed you in the beginning and you just click it and it should pop right over the next thing I'm gonna do is resize it to fit my page and then I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it so that I can make sure it fits the entire page and it should be super easy to just line it right up oops <laughs> like that and you can zoom in to make sure everything is perfectly lined like you like and I can see this is a little bit off so I'm gonna just hit my arrow key and slide it right up and I think that looks really good so I'm gonna zoom back out 
Okay, and now we have our first design element on this page. So what I'm gonna do here is group these and you can do that by clicking shift and selecting them and then you click group right here. This will help these stay locked together. And now it acts as one seamless page. Okay. Now that we have our design element on the page, we wanna make sure that this is in the bottom position. And let me explain that. We're gonna send it backwards as far as it can go. By sending this to the back, it makes sure that the text is our highest layer. And you'll understand why I did that in a second when I add a white box behind the text so that it's not being interrupted by the design. And to do that, we're gonna come over to elements and just click the square. And we're gonna select the color and make it white so that it matches the background. And as you can see, you can see that the, the design is in the background, but the text is still in front of this box. That's because we sent this design all the way to the back so that it's the last layer. And then also you can see that our little name line is being covered up by this box that we just imported. And to fix that, we just click on the, click on the box, select position and send this backwards as well. And now our text line should be in front of the element that we just added in. So now I'm just gonna make this, size this exactly how I want, because I don't want it to interrupt the, the design too much. Okay, now you can see that we can clearly see that this journal belongs to, and it's not being interrupted by the design. I like to leave the blank page blank, but if you want it to, you could add this design to the blank page as well. And I'm just gonna copy it. You can add the design to the blank page as well. And you could simply drop the transparency to make it look as if it's kind of faded. But I'm gonna leave it blank. Now the next step is adding it to our copyright page. And so since I just copied it above and I just clicked Control C to copy it, now I'm gonna click Control V to paste it right on this page. And the same thing, I want to separate the text from the design. So I'm gonna click the square element again. I'm gonna turn it white. And now I'm gonna just edit it. Let's oops, send the position, send it backwards. Oh, okay forgot to do one thing. I forgot to send this all the way back so that it's behind the text. And now I can send this backwards and it should, there we go, show up right behind the text without interrupting it. And now our copyright text is clearly visible. Okay, so now we can take the same design and we can put it on our journal pages. And you can see it's pretty distracting so to fix that, I like to drop down the transparency all the way down to about a 10 so that you can still see it, but it's not distracting and you can still write on the journal. We're gonna do the same to this one. I'm just gonna copy and paste what I've already done. And there you go. And that's how you can add a simple design to your journal to take it to the next level. And you can do anything with this. You could do like a little design in the, just the corner of the book. You could do just a little logo on your book. There's so many different things that you can do with this. And that's why we love customizing our own, our little books that we get from BookBolt to set us apart from the competition. So now that we've completed this, we can go ahead and download this download our pages as a high quality PDF print. Once it's downloaded, you can click it and you can see a little bit of what your journal would look like. The next thing we're gonna do is take these pages and import them into BookBolt 
to structure the interior of our book. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start putting our book together. And to do that, we're going to come back over to Book Bolt and we're going to click Interior Pro. So when you get to this page, you're going to come to Upload and you're going to download the file that we just downloaded from Canva. Okay, and when it's ready, you're gonna come back to interior and we're gonna start putting in our pages. So we're gonna add our first page and when you click first page, you'll see all of the elements that we just, you'll see the pages that we just downloaded from Canva. So when you add the first page, it'll show up right there and you can start seeing your book come together. Next, we're gonna click the plus and then we're gonna add each page. So now we're gonna add the blank page, the copyright page, and then the journal pages. When we get to the journal pages, we're gonna keep repeating them and make sure that the correct date line is on the correct side. So you're gonna keep alternating between them. And you're gonna keep doing this until you get to however many pages you wanted your book to be. So since this book is gonna be 24 pages, I'm just gonna go ahead and go all the way down until the last page of the 24th page. Now I'm gonna speed past this so you don't have to sit through all of this. Now that we're done, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we have the correct settings for our download. We're gonna keep it on no bleed, and then we're gonna change it to without margin so that our design fills the entire page. Next, we're gonna choose the correct book dimensions. And when you finish all of that, you can go ahead and click design, or you can go ahead and click download. And it should load right here. And when you open it, you should have all 24 pages and you can start flipping through to see exactly how your book would look. And you can see these date lines flip back and forth which is exactly what we wanted. And now your book is ready to be uploaded to Amazon KDP or wherever you're going to sell your book. If you want to learn exactly how to upload this book to Amazon KDP, you can click the video that I'm going to have linked to this page and it'll show you exactly how to get started with that. Now that brings us to the end of this video. I hope this video was helpful in showing you exactly how easy it is to customize the interiors that you get from BookBolt. It's a super great way to help your book stand out from the competition and raise its perceived value. If you got anything out of this video, please like and subscribe so I know that these videos are actually helpful. Also, comment below and let us know what type of videos you want us to post next. We want to provide as much value as we possibly can for our subscribers, so your comments are very much appreciated and very helpful. So let us know what type of videos you want to see and we'll create the content to help you out as much as possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.